good things come. Good things come to those who wait. But only those things left behind by those who hustle. So says Abraham Lincoln. So says the Stevens County Development Authority. For over a decade now, we have been waiting, but we have been working diligently for this day. Thank you all for coming out and helping us celebrate this wonderful occasion. As you look around here, you see the potential, don't you? We've got a representation of what this park is going to look like. But this is all about jobs and investments in our community. And it has taken this many people plus others to bring us to this day. <clears throat> Several recognitions I'd like to make here as we get started. What's the name of this park? Haystone Brady Business Park. Why did we come up with that name? Well, because there were some good families that owned some land that we needed, that the community needed, the Hayes family, the Brady family, the Stone family. And we're so honored to have members of the Brady family here with us today. Thank you for your vision for the community. Thank you for your for cooperation and goodwill. Thank, thank you for helping us make this day spot possible. Help me recognize the, the families. As you know, the Stevens County Development Authority is actually made up of uh, other entities in the community. The sitting mayor is always on the Development Authority. The sitting county commission chairman is always on the Development Authority. The Chamber of Commerce chairman is always on the authority, and then two members appointed by the county commissioners. So in a very, very real way, uh, because we're here 12 years after we began this work effort, we're standing on the shoulders of a lot of faithful community public servants. And uh, I see across the crowd here we have several mayors who have uh, served uh, on the Development Authority and as mayor that brought us to this day. I see at least one chairman out here, and I think we're expecting some others to be here today as well. Uh, there's been a dozen Chamber of Commerce chairmen uh, over this past decade plus has, has brought us to this time, and we're appreciative of that. Uh, Senator Butterworth and uh, Representative Michael Harden are here today, and we're going to hear from them in just a second. But uh, all of this working together, you know, we're standing on the shoulders of previous state senators and state representatives that helped us get here today. And then I would re be remiss if I didn't mention we have uh, a past chairman of the Development Authority, Bob Deffenball, is here, and he's wearing a really snazzy white cap somewhere. Bob, wave that cap at us. I've lost you here. Oh, here he is, right down front here. That cap says uh, Stevens County Development Authority on it. I think that's why it's snazzy. Kirby Rutherford was also going to be here today, but I don't see him. You know, he was a chairman of the board uh, several years ago and, uh, in fact, was the chairman when we acquired this property. I also want to mention uh, my predecessors that uh, were involved uh, through the years in making this happen. Certainly Bob Evans, Lonnie Edenfield, Gene McCullough, and my good dear friend Mitch Griggs is here. Mitch, uh, wave at the group. Mitch was telling me he can still extol the virtues of Tacoma Stevens County with the best of them. And I really have uh, learned to appreciate Mitch over the years. And I'm, I'm thankful he's not here because I can be. Uh, but uh, he's still a dear friend. Senator Butterworth is probably going to tell you that he's got to slip out in just a second, so I'm going to let him come first. Jim, are you still here? All right, please, come, come for a few remarks, if you will. Yeah, if you would come on up with me, Michael, if you don't mind. I, um, uh, I'll be very, very brief. There are a lot of other folks that, uh, that deserve a whole lot of opportunity to, uh, to make some comments to you. I, uh, I sincerely enjoy working with Michael Harden, and um, uh, he and I work together to make sure that, uh, that Stevens County gets the attention that it needs. And, uh, and I think that's, that's definitely our message. Um, and, and the reason is because when you come out to, have, to, to throw dirt 
on a uh, Tuesday afternoon when the temperature is kind of sneaking up and have a little bit of barbecue, 200 people show up. Um, that's why Tacoa Stevens County is successful. Um, it, it's the synergy that all of you put towards making it work. And um, uh, in my line of work, my other line of work, flying big airplanes, we talk about some, uh, some over the horizon planning. And that's what's going on right here. And, uh, and Tim Martin is to be commended. Uh, uh, previous previous uh, development authority folks are to be commended. Current the current organization without question. Um, that's the key. Looking over the horizon, looking for the recovery that's going to come. That's uh, that's what we have to do. And uh, I definitely appreciate the opportunity to work with all of you. Look forward to continuing to do that. And uh, uh, looking forward to, to uh, continuing to serve with Michael Harden. Thank you very much. Senator, uh, and thank all of you. Uh, Jim put it best when he mentioned the fact that what a turnout we have on a on a Tuesday at lunch. This is incredible. And you know, many of you may or may not know, but recently a, uh, a delegation from Tacoa Stevens County made the, a trip down to Tacoa, like they have several times just in the last couple of years that I've represented uh, my hometown here. And it is for that reason that Tacoa and Stevens County, I feel, is is on the cusp. We are on the cutting edge, and we're. We are poised for uh, for big things here very, very soon when this economy turns around and whatnot. I know from speaking with other representatives, and I know Jim and I have discussed this from uh, you know a lot of our peers, you talk to them, and right now a lot of communities are just running for the hills. I mean, they're literally just trying to do anything to distract or they're, they're putting their money in other places. They're not investing. They think the economic development days, probably the heyday is behind us. But Tacoa Stevens County has understood that vision. They've continued to plant those seeds, and you're starting to see it now. Those those things are starting to bear fruit, and, uh, you know, as soon as this economy is, you know, I feel like maybe now we're starting to uptick, but who knows, we may bounce on the bottom another time or two, but uh, Lord willing, when this thing does turn around, I'm, I'm confident that it will be soon. Uh, Tacoa and Stevens County is going to be leading the pack because during the tough times, rather than tucking our heads and tucking our tails, we have... Uh, uh, we've stood the test and we've made sure that you know we all understood and, and Tim and everyone here the mayors the county commissions uh, everyone that serves on the board uh, has in, indeed planted those seeds and we're going to we're going to see when things start popping that Tacoa Stevens County is leading the pack in the state if not the region so uh, uh, with that I know there's a lot of other people that that are here to speak but I just want to tell you what an honor and true blessing I feel that it is to represent you all in your state house uh, it's always a pleasure to be with Jim I don't fly big airplanes but uh, I can drive with the best of them. So uh, anyway, thank you all, and God bless you, and thank you again. The dirt that we're standing on here today, <laughs> Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I tell you, I get no respect whatsoever. And I was not here in 1832, but I was in 1932, so that's been quite a while. You know, what makes this work is people working together. And this is one of the many counties across the state and cities that do that. But there's a lot of them that don't. And we are posed at a pivotal point so that when things start happening, we're ready. We've got the property. We've got the development. We've got the infrastructure. We're making the trips to Washington, D.C. But, And that's what makes this whole thing work is working together. Now, with all the thanks that we've had so far, there's one group of people that really have contributed the bottom line, and that's the taxpayers. The taxpayers in Stevens County have voted every time to put money into the things that count, like this program right here. And so if you will, join me, and let's give the people of Stevens County a big hand. Thank you. Dean Scarborough is our current chairman of the Stevens County Commission, and I know this is at least the third meeting he's been in today. These public servants are really public servants. They work very, very hard every day to represent our best interests, uh, extensively involved in all of the Development Authority's activities. And let's hear from Dean Scarborough. Well, let's see. Bob stole that from me. And uh, so what can I steal from you, Cam? that I can say. Uh, I don't care what brought you here today, whether you're a member of Rotary, whether you're a former 
this or a form or that as far as the development authority or the city or the county. But most of you are citizens and taxpayers in Stevens County. And that's what Bob Troop alluded to right there. You know, when you want to pass a splice and you want to get uh, something done as far as at the polls, as far as making it pass, you usually get something to tag to it that's a little glamorous and that everybody wants. You know, something, something big and fancy. But ditches and roads and pipes are not fancy, but the voters of Stevens County saw fit to pass a splice that would help this park get ready for the industry that's coming. And just from what I have seen in the last two months, the doors are now being knocked on a little bit more. The tires are being kicked a little bit more. There's things beginning to happen in this county, in this state, and, and in this country. There are people realizing that the world didn't come to an end two years ago. The economy survived at this point and they know business in the future will be bright. They know that you people as consumers and myself will continue to, to buy things, goods, services, and so those things have to be manufactured. And that's what we're doing here today is working toward getting the position correct here in our park to make it where somebody can easily locate a manufacturing facility here or, or even a service establishment, establishment excuse me. So it's preparation. I, I love the, what Jim alluded to is looking over the, over the horizon. It is so easy to look for today and maybe one day ahead or one week ahead, but to look three, four, and five years ahead and then to put that into a commitment of finance, financing a project, putting it into the ground, putting the pipes in the ground that you'll never see again, hopefully, <laughs> putting the, uh, the electrical infrastructure, the sewage infrastructure in the ground, bearing it up, getting the sites ready for a hopeful building to be built. That takes a lot of looking beyond the horizon. So that's what we're doing here today. That's what we're planning on. And we thank the citizens of Stevens County for, for passing that splash that has made this possible. We thank all those of you that have worked so diligently, uh, the infrastructure committee of the development authority, and then the development authority itself, past and present, and then our development director, and its staff. So thank you all for all your hard work and we look forward to this park being made ready for some good manufacturing. Partnership and the vital partnership that we have with our business community, our private sector. As important as public leadership is, the private sector makes things happen. Government doesn't create wealth, government doesn't create jobs. It can help foster an environment where the, the private sector can. That's why it's so hugely important that we have a, a close ties to the Chamber of Commerce. And you know, in the United States, there are 7,000 Chambers of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce of the United States has an accreditation program. 400 out of 7,000 Chambers are accredited. And only 100 are accredited at the four-star level or above. Your Tacoa Stevens County Chamber is one of those outstanding chambers of commerce. And Tim Ash has been a faithful, close partner. Wendy Bailey, I love Wendy Bailey. She's our chamber president. They do a wonderful job of supporting our development authority efforts. And Tim, let me call on you for a few comments. Well, as, as Tim mentioned, I'm here today because I'm the chamber chairman this year. That's a one-year post, so I can't take a lot of credit for this on that basis. But what I can tell you is I've been a member of the Development Authority Property Committee since 2005, which means I was involved in passing the splice. I was involved in putting the bond financing together that allows us to prepay and get this started in anticipation of those revenues. So it's, it's quite a fulfillment for me today to be here and see this happening. And I want to thank everybody who was involved in that process. And it's just been quite a confluence of factors. The new 17 is going to be on the back side of this property. We are close to Highway 85. There are so many things here that we have to offer, and it's just great to be a part of it today. And we thank you, Tim. I'm going to call on Cam Parker here in just a second, but uh, 
I also want to again recognize Bob Deppenball for his leadership and his service to the community. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours uh, in public settings and in private settings has worked, uh, done yeoman service uh, to this community. Bob, uh, again, wave your hand so we can see you and recognize you. Cam? I wrote my speech, which means y'all stole my thunder, but you're going to hear it anyway. Um, some of you have sort of heard this talk before, but it's something that, uh, that means a lot to me. It's close to my heart, and I want to tell you this. I believe that there are fundamentally three reasons, blessings in my mind, that make this groundbreaking both possible and necessary. We're here today because we are blessed with a long and successful industrial history. We are blessed with a hardworking volunteer spirit, and we're blessed with a powerful sense of community. First, we live in a community with a rich industrial history. Those who came before us filled this history with hard work, ingenuity, and self-sacrifice. Our forefathers included textilers, furniture makers, railroaders, precision aerospace parts manufacturers, vital important pump makers, and a heavy equipment manufacturer named R.J. Letourneau, who supplied 70% of the earth-moving equipment used by all Allied forces during and after World War II. To Cohen's and Stephen Countyans have been proudly creating goods for over 100 years. These men and women understood what Solomon went when he said in Proverbs, lazy hands make a man poor, but diligent hands bring wealth. These folks toiled to make life better for themselves, their families, and friends and neighbors. Their efforts and triumphs are still felt here at home, throughout America, and in places as far away as Normandy, France. They literally changed the world in our little corner of it. Their lives, struggles, and accomplishments are very much worth remembering and honoring by working again to build upon our industrial base. This part will help future workers heed Solomon's advice and create the self-sustaining wealth that only productive citizens can bring to a society. Second, we live in a community with a rich volunteer spirit. The Stevens County Development Authority benefits from the hard work, ingenuity, and self-sacrifice of over 40 volunteers. And thanks to their service, we are able to break ground today on what will become the best business park in Georgia. They and our community's leaders have saw fit to identify our economic development needs and then patiently and persistently work to supply those needs. They have understood that the will to win is worthless without the will to prepare. This park is part of that preparation, and we are confident that today sets the stage for great victories to come. And finally, we live in a community blessed with a powerful sense of community. Remember, it was our people, as you've heard before, the citizens of Tacoa and Stevens County, who chose to provide their own work, ingenuity, and self-sacrifice in order to fund projects like this. All of our successes depend in part on our appreciation for who we are and who we hope to be. These hopes and dreams define a society, and just like our forefathers, we continue to write that definition. Our neighbors have devoted a part of their income, 1% to the cost of nearly everything they purchase, for our common good. In so doing, they have declared that Dakota and Stevens County, our home, is well worth their investment. Today's groundbreaking is proof that they were right. Thank you all. Buddy Lawson could not be here today, but he is the chairman, has been for several years of our infrastructure committee. Good hard effort, that committee, and helping us get here to where we are today. Corey Shiplett is here someplace in the audience. He has been uh, the chairman of our product development committee, again involved in this. I know we've got uh, other committees of the development authority. Jolita Hunt is chairing our attraction committee. She is here. Kim Hudgens is chairing our uh, communications and marketing committee. She is here as well. And Gerald Turner, who is chairing our existing industry committee. Uh, is here today. So if you have a chance to express a word of appreciation to them, uh, that would be appropriate. I don't think we could have this day today if it were not for Tom Sloop and Bob Ward and Chris Miller and others with Carter and Sloop. Carter and Sloop, uh, it keeps blowing over. 
but uh, I hope you will come by uh, sometime today and have a chance to, to look at uh, the artist's conception of what this beautiful park is going to look like and the, 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 the road that's being built and the water service and the sanitary sewer services that are going to be extended. And uh, uh, that would not happen without the good work. So Carter and Sloop folks, if you will kind of wave your hands so folks can see you and they'll know, know to... Simpson Trucking and Grading is going to build the new road and uh, Cedar Farms and Construction is going to do the water and wastewater service. I believe they're here, but uh, they're bashful. They're off over on the hillside. So but let's turn and face them and give them a, a word of thanks. They've been magnificent to work with already. And uh, I don't know, uh, maybe they will say, no, 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 don't let them do that. But it, it is possible. I have done it. Uh, now, you need, might want a high-profile car to do it in, but you can drive back out across this field, and they have cleared and grubbed the, the roadway. Uh, now, any flat tires or anything, you're on your own. But uh, you can check this site out because of the work that those gentlemen have already been, done, been doing. A uh, few other uh, uh, words of thanks I need to express for uh, today. Uh, Carter and Sloop, again, has uh, been uh, gracious in uh, helping us with the lunch arrangement. So hopefully in just a few minutes, all of you can stay. And uh, we're going to move over towards the building there and uh, uh, grab lunch. And then we've got tables and chairs provided on the inside of the building. We're shaded and uh, you can enjoy your, your lunch there. So our thanks to Carter and Sloop, our thanks to the Rotary Club. Uh, they meet on Tuesdays and they gave up their meeting day. Uh, and some of their funding to help us have lunch today. So, uh, Rotarians, if you will, I know there's 20 or 30 of you. Just kind of wave your hand. Uh, we appreciate you all. Thank you. Um, Sheriff Randy Shirley, um, even this week of uh, the passing of his dad, has been right there with us for us, and we appreciate him. I've made arrangements for some security, uh, for, for traffic control, and, and also the... Uh, the manpower to bring the tables and the chairs out here for this ceremony. Uh, the city has helped us with some trash receptacles. The, didn't you love the cadets from the, the from the high school junior ROTC program? They did a great job of uh, lining our cars up, and hopefully you all can get out safely uh, after this is over today. The sound system that we're enjoying is from North Georgia Technical College. Uh, the building, of course, is a Rooker building. Let me say something about that. You know, we constantly get questioned why did the public spend a you know, million and a half dollars to build a building that they didn't finish? Well, one reason, one, one answer to that is the county did not spend any money to, to build the building that's not finished. Uh, the Rooker company did that. That's their money, million and a half dollars as it sits where it is, and it's not finished because we don't know exactly what it needs to look like when the new industry moves in. They'll have their own ideas about how it needs to be finished out. and so. Very deliberately, we have uh, anticipated what a company might need, but then we've allowed plenty of, and you'll see when you step in there, plenty of flexibility. Uh, even the center of the floor is not poured concrete uh, because they might need a pit uh, to perform some process in their industrial manufacturing, or they might need extra heavy strength concrete. So you'll love uh, looking at that building if you haven't had a chance to get into that yet. But that, that building is owned by the Rooker Company. And it sits on uh, dirt that's owned by Stevens County, but uh, that'll be a great home for a new industry. Um, I mentioned uh, uh, the tables and chairs. Well, I should also tell you that they came from First Baptist Church. Uh, thank you for letting us use those. Larry Earhart uh, helped us with those arrangements. Kim Hudgens, uh, First Methodist Church, you know, we're equal opportunity uh, take advantage of uh, the uh, folks. Uh, so we, we needed some help from the Methodists. So thank you, Kim, for helping us with this. Um, Rich Adams from the county, back over here. Now, uh, I would ask you to look at him, but he's wearing Georgia Bulldog clothing, and, and us Yellow Jackets don't, don't care much for that. But uh, we do appreciate the help that uh, Rich and his crew has uh, helped us with today in mowing of this field and, and uh, taking care of this, uh, the, the surroundings of the spec building on an ongoing, continual basis. Um, Hey, uh, let me see, go on. Uh, Sean Apostle is here somewhere from the city with a video camera. When he comes around, make sure that you're smiling uh, because you're going to end up on YouTube. And then uh, the fans that some of you are enjoying, uh, we have uh, from Moss Stovall Neal and uh, WNEG Radio. 
Um, enough of that. Uh, let me um, uh, quickly call on uh, Dr. Henry Fields. Uh, for, if he'll kind of work his way up here, I'm going to ask him to uh, say grace for the meal that we're about to receive and uh, a word of blessing on this occasion and the future success of this park. Uh, we, we will have uh, some pictures uh, right here behind us as well. So if you're not involved in a picture, let me suggest go get to the head of the line and then uh, the picture folks can catch up with that. Now, uh, Randy Hayes, where's Randy Hayes from Caterpillar? Um, he was quick to remind me that uh, Caterpillar is uh, in the park. In fact, you can see Caterpillar from where we're standing, but uh, featured prominently behind me and uh, on, the, on the tractors is uh, deer. And so what we're going to do, uh, you can do some amazing things with photoshopping. And just to uh, let you know that uh, we're going to see if we can't take there that, uh, that deer is a four-letter word, isn't it? And uh, caterpillar, caterpillar rules. All right. Um, Dr. Fields. And what is that all about? It is good for me to be a part of this. I've been in this community about 25 years and watched things happen and tried to be a little bit part of it. And Tim, I'm going to give you an engineering uh, lesson. If you turned those things down earlier, that thing wouldn't have blown over. So <laughs> that's straight from straight from the institute. Okay. Yeah. Let's have our prayer together. Thank you for giving us the ability to dream, Father, things bigger than we can even imagine, sometimes so big we don't see how they're ever going to come to fruition. But thank you also for visionaries who can take the dream and turn it into reality. Thank you for those who had the dream of what will be done here long ago. And thank you for those who had the courage to make the vision begin to work. We would be remiss if we didn't thank you for those who have taken positions of leadership and ventured out into the world to make known to folks everywhere the good things that are possible in our community. For the leaders of the governments and for those who have worked so diligently in the development authority area to make sure that we are recognized and known in high places and in familiar places. And as this park begins to develop even further, we pray you would lead the people who need to be a part of our community to us and us to them so that we can indeed have a fulfillment of the dream ultimate realization of the vision has been a part of our community for so very long. And now we ask you to bless us as we enjoy fellowship around tables of food. And through that fellowship may our community be bound even more closer together with a sense of dedication and service to you first, to each other, and then on beyond that to the community and the world. Okay, now we're looking at uh, Jessica, and then we'll look over here at Charlie and this other game. So let's shoot this, this way first. We'll look at Jessica. Alright, grab you just a little bit because I don't want to hurt you back. Alright, go on three, one, two, three. Alright, not good. Now let's do it over here. One, two, three. Did you get what you did? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. 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 You better take another one. Can't have that dirty. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Grab a bite. Are we doing it again? I'll do one more. Right. Yeah. Awesome. You ready? All right. Good deal. Now, this pile of dirt needs to be put on the other side of the track. <laughs> yeah. So, here you are. <laughs> yeah. I got a good 